I'm Shepard Smith. This is the Fox Report. It's the bottom of the hour. Time for the top of the news. Two Iranian warships, two of them, are now docked in Syria after they sailed through a major Mideast passageway for only the second time in decades. Egypt on Saturday gave the ships the okay to go through the Suez Canal and the Mediterranean and into the Mediterranean Sea. Iranian state television reports the vessels were at a Syrian port in Tartus to help train that nation's navy as part of a year-old agreement. Iran's navy chief says the move also shows the Islamic Republic's military might. Tehran's made the trip just one other time since the 1979 Islamic Revolution. Last February, Iranian ships went through the canal after the fall of the Egyptian president, Hosni Mubarak. Israel objected then and over the weekend said it would watch the Iranian warships closely to make sure they don't approach the Israeli coast. The chief Fox Report correspondent, Jonathan Hunt, has been watching this throughout the day. Support from Russia, China and Iran could really help the president there, Bashar al-Assad. Certainly could, Shep, and that diplomatic and military support from all three of those nations appears to be, if anything, emboldening President Bashar al-Assad, and in, meaning he feels that he can crack down even more violently on the opposition. Remember, the opposition movement was born in the city of Homs, and we're hearing reports from that city today that Syrian tanks and troops are massing in even greater numbers on the outskirts. The opposition fears that President Assad is about to launch a final onslaught to try to crush them and they say that if that onslaught comes the bloodiness of it is likely to dwarf anything we have seen in this conflict so far. Yeah, we're led to believe that there are tanks positioned outside that city of Holmes and now we're hearing from Senator John McCain and others in the United States saying look we need to do at least something to help level this playing field. Yes, Senator McCain is currently on a tour of the Middle East. He was in Egypt today and he said with the violence ordered by President Assad clearly increasing it is time for the West to do much more than just stand by and issue words of condemnation. Listen. There are ways to get assistance ranging from medical assistance to technical assistance such as GPS and other uh, things that we could provide the Syrian National Army, support of the Sir Syrian National Council, and uh, there are ways to get weapons into Syria. It is time we uh, gave them the wherewithal to fight back and stop the slaughter. There are ways to get weapons into Syria. Of course, Obama administration officials have said as recently as last week that that is the last thing they want to do, Shep, get more weapons into mm -hmm. that country. Yep, sounds right. Jonathan Hunt, thank you. Well